How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Guys, before we get into today's video, um, I need to have a little chat with all of you. You know, smack some wrists, okay? Tell some of you off. In my last couple of videos, a lot of you guys have been complaining about me censoring my swearing. A lot of you actually have seemed to be quite angry about this, even threatening to unsubscribe because you really need to hear the F word pronounced. Because apparently that makes the content better or something. Guys, please try to understand that I do not want to censor my swearing. This is out of my control, alright? YouTube, unless you live under a rock and you don't follow any YouTube news, YouTube aren't really supporting adult material on YouTube. My main demographic is between 18 to 24. Uh, I think that, that makes up 64% of my audience's age, ra age range. Blah. I've always catered towards a more a a um, adult audience, uh, and unfortunately, uh, despite there being YouTube kids and other things that YouTube could do, they are interested in the AdSense. They are not supporting channels who swear a lot, who have any sort of adult-themed content, and I was getting hit with a lot of stuff. So guys, you have a choice to make. I can either continue on swearing, which is not something that I believe is what makes my content good to watch. I don't believe that the swearing makes content better. I think that's just mindless. We can either just continue down that road or we can censor our swearing and keep enter- Or I can censor my swearing and bring you content and continue to make videos and actually have them all reach you and not get struck with demonetizations and bans and takedowns and strikes. But, you know, support me. Support YouTubers, you know? It's not our decision. It's out of our control. I'm not doing it because I want to. <laughs> I'm doing it because I pretty much have to in order to keep bringing you guys content. Try and understand that before going off on me and starting on me. I'm wonderful. I'm lovely. Just love me, for God's sake. The second thing, and it's the same topic, and I think a, a lot of you are being a little bit delicate with this one. The noise that I use to censor my swearing, apparently a lot of you found either irritating, annoying, too loud, <laughs> or uh, various other complaints. The, the squeaky noise, uh, this noise, <coughs> don't get triggered, all right? Apparently that was too much. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to change the sound effect uh, and I think the only fitting thing can be used as a replacement is this noise. The low disc space tone. <laughs> as much as I hate it, you guys were voting for it and you chose that one, so... And now I have to put up with that even more. <laughs> guys, let's get into today's video. Let's get over this. Today's video is a, a video requested by you guys and it's called The Strongest Family in the World, My Crazy Obsession. Apparently it's about a family of weightlifters and even their kids are into it. They're all really strong, stupidly strong. Let's watch a video! In a typical suburban neighborhood outside Las Vegas. Now when the TV show starts with, in a typical suburban neighborhood, you know it's not going to be a typical suburban neighborhood. You know there's going to be some messed up shit in it. <laughs> An average American family is just starting its day. Dylan, JJ! But this family is going to have to do some heavy lifting. Good girl, there we go. Oh, the puns. I, I want to meet who writes the text for these shows, the puns. To push their bodies above and beyond average, because... We're the strongest... Family in the world. Is that kid really pushing that car? Is he actually pushing that car to school? Let me tell you something, no kid wants to go to school that badly, they get out and push. Alright, if anything, if he's that strong in real life, he'd pick the car up and wheel it back home. <laughs> yeah. Come on, honey. Almost there. Nice. Nice. Come on. Nice. Nick, Callie, Dylan, Six. and Jessica Best. So you could do it. Train their bodies up to 240 hours each week. Imagine living in this neighborhood, not knowing what they do, and they they see that they're getting their kids push tires and roll them down the street. They they must think we need to up our punishment game. Okay, I just send my kids to their room. Look at these. They're, they're, they're making them push cars down the street. Trisha, go lift dad's truck 12 times. Then you can have your phone back. <laughs> Two, good. Three, good JJ. While some pediatricians warn against weight training for kids, 11-year-old Dylan routinely deadlifts 130 pounds. I Jesus Christ. That's like my... 
arm. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a big guy. Do like working out. It's like my coffee in the morning. If I don't do it, I don't. I'm sorry. What? What? I do like working out. It's like my coffee in the morning. If I don't do it. I... Wow. You know that that's a problem when a ten year old um demands his coffee in the morning. Do I agree with that? Maybe not. Sounds like a little man, doesn't he? I just need my coffee in the morning. I could do without that in the morning. I can do without it. All right. Squat down. Lower your butt. Pull back on your heels. Pull back on your heels and stand up. Pull, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. You got it. Stand up. Oh, that's, so close. <laughs> that's pretty close. Damn. Imagine trying to ground these kids. Get to your room. Grounded. They just lift you up and chuck you down the stairs. You, I mean, don't make your kids freakishly strong. Dylan's sister, Jessica, is a normal 46-pound five-year-old girl. She's not normal if she can do that. That's not normal. If I tried to do that, I'd dislocate my wrist. Oh my gosh, JJ. Experts recommend children her age train with one-pound weights. Whoa! But she can lift 100 pounds. I mean... I mean, come on. Who's bullying her, right? <laughs> That's like double, like, her body weight or something. She can lift her bullies above her head. That's, that's how, that's how queen she is. Oh my god! <laughs> nice job, everybody. Wow, you awesome! Wow, did you hear that high five? <laughs> wow, that was quite strong, listen to that. Wow, you awesome! Jesus Christ! Oh, see that hurt. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a pussy. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. That was a f impressive high five. That's all I'm saying. People think it's strange that Jessica can lift double her body weight, but she loves doing it, and she's not hurting anything. I'm oh, she will. Give her time. Give her time. Be like my money because he's pretty and strong. That was adorable on so many levels. I can't even. And she's not hurting anything. I'm to be like my money because he's pretty and strong. Queen. Queen. It's kind of an unfair advantage, really. I mean, imagine like um, sports day. I don't know what you guys call it in the US or if you even have a sports day. If you don't have a sports day, it's just when, you know, you do a bunch of sports and you compete for medals and stuff. These kids are bringing home the gold, all right? I would not want to be up against them at sports day. Ooh, I feel a little baby callous. Let me see. Because that's normal. Hey, look, I see him. Look at that. Our family is normal in the way we love one another, but we're not normal physically. <laughs> Our family's normal in all ways possible. Picks daughter up and swings her around head. <laughs> oh my god, he just lifted her up like she was like she was nothing. Just look at it. Our family is normal in the way we love one another, but we're not normal physically. <laughs> and wow. Christ. And if that makes us bad, then I'm if his kids turned into bullies, like that that that's like a dad of my nightmares, you know? Someone's picking on my daughter at school. First thing you do as a dad is think, oh, I'm gonna go speak to the parents. I'm gonna show the dad how to treat their kids. Yeah. Except that's the dad you have to tell their kids are behaving inappropriately. A man who literally picks his children up above his head just to kiss them. And swing them around. <laughs> I need to see the dad first. I need to see the other dad first, like how how big he is and stuff, you know. And if um if he's like that, then I just pretend that um that he wasn't there that day and I couldn't speak to him. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Then we're back. The family obsession with muscle began way back when Nick was just a high school win. Why do they have a collection of rocks? Looks like the planetary alignment. See those big stones that they they hold on their chests aren't they and they lift them up and they put them on those big like podium things they have a collection of them <laughs> i'm just afraid that like they're gonna lift it up and it's it's gonna slip and if that lands on your foot oh god you'd have no toes left it'd just be flat oh oh my god i can't stand it i can't he walked out of the elevator <laughs> our eyes locked Obviously, the first thing that I noticed about Nick were his physical attributes. Oh, is that what you call him? Hmm? His, his physical attributes? Huh? What are they? I wonder. <laughs> There's nothing more sexy than a big, strong guy. Well, um, look, no, f what, who am I kidding? <laughs> I don't know if I'd, I'd like to have big muscles, to be honest. I don't know if that would suit me. Um, can you imagine it? Welcome back to Dust Games! <laughs> yeah, 
Now, other than, you know, losing a, a, a few more stone, I think I'm pretty happy with myself. I think I'm a sexy bitch, right? Period. But I wonder what breakfast is like for these kids. Christ, they must just drink eggs. The best don't spend all day in the gym to replace what they burn off while working out. Dylan and Jessica consume nearly twice the recommended calories for their age. Christ. I hope they're really into it, though. They seem to be happy. Like, I hope they actually like doing it. Like, they seem to. I, you know, I doubt they're being made to do it or anything crazy like that. My mum tried to get me to do any exercise as a kid. But like, I just look at her like, what? Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Like, and then she'd ground me. <laughs> and it's like, well, you want me to go outside, but now you're grounding me. So you're actually helping me achieve my goals. <laughs> Nick eats anywhere between 10 and 15,000 calories in a day. But I don't constantly feed. What's that, a chicken wrap? That is, isn't it? Oh my god, I want a chicken wrap. I think I might go to KFC later and get a chicken wrap. <laughs> See, all this video, the only thing I've paid attention to is chicken. <laughs> all the fitness and lifting, not once have I gone, I should do that. I should go to the gym. The first chicken wrap that pops up, I'm, oh, I'm already going to KFC after finishing this video. <laughs> I just won't maintain this mass. Here's 12 eggs, and this is what Nick will go through in one day. And that's just for Nick. The whole family eats 10 dozen eggs every single week. God damn! That's a lot of dead chickens. Oh, well, that was quite a short video. I wish it was, I wish there was more on them. I'd like to see what their school friends and stuff think about it, or if they know, you know, or is it like a crap? Well, they can't be keeping it secret because they're out in the street lifting cars over their heads. <laughs> Well, that was a short video uh, suggested by you guys. Thank you so much for suggesting that video, guys. I love crazy family videos like that. Now all I can think about is KFC, and I'm going. I'm gonna have to do that. It's now part of my part of my day plan. Guys, thank you so much for suggesting today's video. Suggest me more. Uh, send me some weird and wonderful videos on Twitter, and I will react to them. Like, love, caress my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>